Hi guys, today I'm showing an application that allows you to perform different tasks with your volume button. So as you can see, I just opened the application using the volume buttons. First I'll just go through the settings and then I'll show you how to add your own task or your own new actions. So you've got premium there, remove the ads, share, you can share this application. You've got about um, the application, help, takes you to a YouTube video. Settings, close, close and stop. So quickly go through settings. So you can preserve the battery life. This service will run when the screen is turned on. You can activate that and deactivate it. You've got more options here. You can allow root permissions. I've got this unchecked but it still works perfectly fine. You can allow it to run when the music is playing. System boot, basically it will, the, the application will run as soon as your phone is turned on. You can check that and uncheck that. You can add a widget. I've done this. This widget allows you to um, activate and deactivate it. You can restore the volume. So basically after the action has been activated, the volume will go back to default. You can allow it to bypass the lock screen. And you can set the interval between the clicks. You got show notification and you can also hide it. So to make a new application is um, sorry to make a new action is very easy. Let's just delete this one and make this one again. So to create a new action, you could have flashlight. You could take a photo, take a video. You got dictaphone, call someone, message someone. You could play a sound. You could either play one of their sounds or choose your own one. And then you got configuration. So that basically allows you to turn on and off different radios, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. You've got Tasker and you could launch an app. So for this, I will just do photo. You could choose your rear camera or your front facing camera. You've got your quality there. Let's go for high. You've got your flash and autofocus. So once you're done, you hit ready. So then you choose your button sequence and I just hit volume up. Hit ready. Hit finish and then it's done. So if I hit up once now, it should take a photo. So how easy was that? It, take, it took a photo and it also shows me where I've um, where it saved it. So now I'll just show you some of the ones I've set earlier just to save time. So down down would launch AirDroid. And do this with my right hand, it'll be easier for me. So you can see it launched AirDroid. So I'm going to click the down button three times so we'll go back into the application. So I've got it to turn on and off flashlight by hitting down once. So as you can see it turned on the flashlight. I hit down again and it will turn it off for me. Then if I want to turn on my Wi-Fi, I hit up um, volume up three times. Sorry, volume down. Oh, volume up, sorry. So as you can see my Wi-Fi should turn on soon on the top right. My Wi-Fi is turned on. I've got it to launch another application called Timely if I press up twice. So as you can see that worked. Press it three times again and it should go back to the application. You could uh, launch quick click, I will show you that. You can launch camera. So one is taking a photo and one is open the camera application. So I just say I want to open that. I, I set it to up volume up four times, but obviously you can choose whatever you like. So if I choose one, two, three, four, it should open the camera application. There we go. So it works. I can take pictures. So there you go, guys. That's more or less it. Um, it works very fine, very nice uh, application, very simple to use. Um, productive yeah, it helps me a lot like this comment uh, sorry like this video don't forget to subscribe I've got more videos coming up and I'll see you in the next one